Let's start with 2024 Mercedes GLC Coupe. Now it's time to meet the new GLC Coupe. In terms of dimensions, the new Mercedes-Benz GLC Coupe is a little different compared to the old model. For example, the length measures 4,763 mm, plus 31 mm, and the height has also increased by 5 mm. The gauge is also larger. The width remained unchanged at 1,890 mm, and the aerodynamic coefficient has been improved. The new model boasts a CD coefficient of 0.27, 0.30 for the old GLC Coupe. More space for luggage thanks to the larger dimensions, the luggage space has increased. The volume of the trunk varies between 390 and 1490 liters, plus 90 liters, depending on the version chosen and the position of the rear seats. If we refer to the exterior design, the new GLC Coupe has taken over the changes introduced last year by the GLC. We get, among other things, a revised front end, narrower headlights, slightly retouched rear and also narrower taillights. The changes to the passenger compartment are perhaps the most notable. The avant-garde interior line is standard, the driver has a digital instrument panel in front of him, with a 12.3-inch screen, and the central display measures 11.9 inches. It goes without saying that we are dealing with the latest version of the MBUX multimedia system. Electrified engines The 2.0-liter engine is the centerpiece of the engine range. Available in gasoline and diesel versions, the unit comes with a 48 volts mild hybrid system. Of course, customers also have three plug-in hybrid versions available, based on the same 2.0-liter unit. Powers vary between 197 and 381 horsepower. In the case of PHEV versions, the battery with a capacity of 31.2 kWh promises a purely electric auto Nomi of over 100 km. The list includes Active Distance Assist Distronic, Active Steering Assist, Traffic Sign Assist, the parking package with a 360-degree video camera, new to the list, and Memory Parking Assist. The new generation Mercedes-Benz GLC Coupe will be available on the markets of Western Europe from July 2023. BMW X4 is re-top luxury SUV on the market. Although purists frowned on the German manufacturer's decision to give birth to such an SUV, the market quickly adopted the X6, and today it is a common presence on the streets and roads. Especially for its character as a symbol of social status. Minor aesthetic improvements design improvements include narrower headlights and taillights, a larger front grille and slightly restyled spoilers. The X4 Sport exterior package gives the two SUVs extra sportiness, and the X4M versions also received new bumpers with larger air intakes. Inside, the center console has been taken over from the 4 Series. Both come standard with a 10.25-inch central display, and the BMW Live Cockpit Professional System, with 12.3-inch screens for the instrument panel and multimedia system, is optional. The new X4 facelifts come equipped with sports seats covered in merino leather, illuminated M logos and an M sports steering wheel. The range of engines includes three diesel and three petrol engines. All four and six, cylinder units now come with a 48 volts micro-hybrid system. The power of the aggregates varies between 184 and 360 horsepower. The BMW X4 can also be ordered in a plug-in hybrid version with an electric range of up to 50 km. All engine versions come with an 8-speed Steptronic automatic transmission. The X3M40i, X3M40D and all X4 models are equipped with the 8-speed Steptronic Sport transmission. More torque for M&M &M competition versions as for the X4M performance versions, 
The 3.0-liter engine they are equipped with still develops 480 horsepower, or 510 if we talk about the M competition version. The torque of both versions increased, however, by 20 and 50 newton meters, respectively. Consequently, the X4 competition has 650 newton meters. The new generation BMW X4 will be available in five equipment lines: Standard, Advantage, X Line, M Sport, and M Sport X. The M Sport and M Sport X lines offer the same equipment as standard, the only differences being in the body packages. The M Sport line includes the M Aerodynamic package. The spoilers and sills are painted in body color and the rear diffuser is offered in dark shadow. In the case of the M Sport X line, some of the design elements come with frozen gray inserts, wings, side protections, diffuser. For now, BMW offers five engines on the new generation X4. The Germans propose two gasoline units and three diesel engines. The entry-level version is available with the 2.0-liter petrol engine, X420i, that produces 184 horsepower and 290 newton meters. As standard, the BMW X4 has the M Sport suspension and the performance control function of the DSC system. Optionally, customers will be able to check the M Sport braking system, only available on the M Sport and M Sport X lines, and the adaptive suspension with electronically controlled shock absorbers, 615 euros. The resources of the diesel unit will be managed by an 8-speed automatic box and an X-Drive all-wheel drive system. This allows for an improvement of 0.3 seconds for the 0 to 100 km per hour sprint. Top speed remains limited to 250 km per hour, or 285 km per hour if the optional M driver package is ticked. As we said, the new BMW X4 facelift will be launched on the market in August this year. Audi has published the first images and details of the new Q5 Sportback. The coupe SUV will be available from the first part of next year, and customers will also be able to opt for plug-in hybrid versions. The SQ5 Sportback variant is part of the German manufacturer's offer. The coupe version of the midsize SUV will be available in the first part of next year, and according to representatives of the German manufacturer, customers will be able to choose gasoline, diesel and plug-in hybrid units. At the front, the Q5 Sportback offers a large single-frame grille, generous side intakes and new chrome elements near the splitter. Sportback is 4.69 meters long, just 7 millimeters longer than the regular version. The width and height have the same values as in the Q5 facelift's datasheet, but the aerodynamic coefficient has been improved as with the regular variant, the SUV coupe will be available with OLED taillights, optional. For the interior, the Germans have prepared a digital instrument panel available in a 12.3-inch version and an infotainment system with a 10.1-inch central screen. The multimedia system uses the new modular infotainment platform 3, MIB3, unit with 10 times the computing power of the old MIB. At launch, the Audi Q5 Sportback will be available with one diesel engine and two petrol units. The Germans will offer the Q5 Sportback 40 TDI version with a 2.0-liter engine and 204 horsepower. Next to the gasoline versions, Audi offers the 40 TFSI, 2.0 liters with 204 horsepower, and 45 TFSI, 2.0 liters with 265 horsepower, variants. The top of the range will be represented by the SQ5 Sportback, 3.0-liter diesel engine with 347 horsepower.